let's see if I even remember how to do this. Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been so, 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 so long since I have done a random update vlog like this. So today I thought I would film a little casual update vlog here on my couch at home and just tell you and show you some of the things that have changed in the past few months. You may have already noticed, but this is one thing that has changed and this is actually very new. So it might be the first time you're seeing it or maybe you didn't even notice. I don't know. Maybe I'm just the only one thinking this is a huge deal, but I got a haircut. <laughs> I just really wanted to change and my hair in the summer, especially with humidity and heat, it gets very, very poofy. I thought I would just chop it off and see how I liked it. And so far I do. I know I'm going to miss doing braids and stuff, but to be honest, I never do very much with my hair. You might've noticed that it's normally just down or in a clip. So I thought let's just chop it off. I think I'm going to sit you up here. So it's a little bit of a better view. And also I'm not even sure I remember how to vlog properly. So I'm afraid if I just sit here and hold it, it's going to be very bad. <laughs> the past few months, you may feel like you haven't seen me quite as much on this channel and it's because of a lot of reasons. First of which is that work has been very, very crazy. I've had so much to do. Everyone in different fields has had such a different experience during this pandemic. And of course, I have to just pause here for a second to say anyone who's working in the medical industries or first responders or any of those very, very high pressure fields, Thank you so much for everything that you've been doing the past few months. Obviously, I do not have the same kind of pressure. I work in digital marketing, social media marketing, content creation, not nearly the same thing, but digital marketing has become a lot more important in the past few months. So our jobs have gotten a lot busier. Thankfully, I've been able to work from home, which was amazing. I also love working from home. I know this kind of like a split of people who really love it, of people who really hate it. There's not a lot of people in between I found, but me, I am one of them who loves it. I work really, really well from home. Another reason why I haven't been quite as active on this channel is because I have made a new writing channel. So this channel's not going anywhere, don't panic. I'm gonna keep both channels. I'm gonna upload to both channels. But basically what I'm doing is splitting my content. You might've noticed that I do videos a lot about living abroad, about languages, kind of day-to-day -day stuff. I vlog a lot of my travels. I love doing that. That's not going anywhere. It's gonna stay here on this channel. But I also like to make videos about writing, about books, about all of that kind of literature, bookish stuff. And I still really wanted to make videos about that. And in fact, I wanted to make more videos about that because I had a lot of things that I wanted to say. So I thought it would be better instead of trying to pack it all on one channel, I thought it'd be better to have a writing channel. So if you love all of the bookish stuff and you can subscribe, so you can have both types of content in your feed. And then of course, if you aren't as interested in that, you can just stay here subscribed. And if you're more interested in writing in books, then feel free to subscribe there and not here. I don't mind, do whatever suits you. But now it's a little bit easier to kind of choose the kind of content you wanna see from me. So I hope that has been fun for you guys who have subscribed to me over there. Thank you so much, by the way, to all of you. And that is why I haven't had quite as much time to have weekly videos on both. That's just not going to be possible. Another change that you may have noticed because I'm sitting on it is this couch. Over the past few weeks, my husband and I have decided to do a few things to our apartment and just kind of spruce it up, change some things that have needed changed for a very long time, actually, I will admit. One of them was the couch. I don't know how obvious it was from pictures and things like that, but that couch was not very comfortable, the one that we had before. It was very much, not just a budget couch, but an extreme budget couch. And we didn't realize it was going to be quite so uncomfortable and it was very uncomfortable. So this has been a long time coming. We finally decided just to kind of bite the bullet and get a new couch because we really needed it. Voila, new couch. I know the pillows don't match, but I don't even really care because I'm not that picky and the couch is so much more comfortable than the other one, so I'm very happy. We've also moved basically everything in this main room. Part of that was because of just kind of maximizing the space a bit better. Part of it was because of noise. I know I've told you guys before, our neighbors just over on this side of the building, they are insane. They are very, very loud. They are very, very obnoxious. Let's just say it like that. I'm not gonna go into another neighbor rant. I do that often enough on Instagram, but we thought maybe if we put the bookshelf on this side of the, the room and we sat on the other side of the room, even though the room's not that big, we thought maybe it would help a little bit with the noise. So that is what we have done. I think it may be helping, maybe, I don't know. 
but I like the, the arrangement better at least. So now we have Hamlet's cat tree right here, which is just next to the couch. We still have our Banksy up here above our couch, which is where it was before. We just had to move it to the other side of the room, obviously. And we also have a new rug down here, which I really, really like. We did keep our other rug. We actually just moved it over here. And now this is kind of Hamlet's play area. In this corner, there's not a lot of new stuff because we had all of this before. We had the TV, we had the Xbox, we had the speakers, which we really, really like. Of course, that's my husband's guitar. That wasn't there before, but he's had it for a very long time. And same with the cat fountain actually over here that was normally in the bedroom, but it's just a little bit noisy. So we decided to move it out here and Hamlet still loves it. So he's happy. Up here though is another new addition. So what is this called? A uh, canvas, I guess. I wanna call it a tableau, but I think that's the French word. <laughs> this is a new canvas that we got and I really, really like it on this wall. It really helps with the kind of white wall syndrome that we have had going on here for a very long time. And I love the picture, the New York scenery. It's really, really pretty. It has a little bit of action. I really like it. And then on top of that, I got a small nightstand because I've needed a nightstand for quite a while. And then we also got this thing, which is in the bathroom slash laundry room. I'll actually take you in there. So here we have our washing machine and all of this up here, which was just empty wall space we have now organized in this strange contraption thing. The thing that I've really struggled with in this room is that we can't drill anything into our walls, not only because it's not part of our apartment contract, but also because these walls are really weird. They seem to have like concrete on the other side of them. I have never seen any apartment walls like this, but you physically cannot drill into a lot of these walls. So we couldn't like put a shelf or anything up there, but I really needed more storage space in this room. So this thing, while it's not fantastic quality, it works really, really well and it fits the purpose perfectly. Nothing super glamorous, I know, but all of these changes are things that I've been wanting to do for such a long time. They're just those little touches that it needed and that makes life a little bit easier or a little bit prettier. It's very unusual for us to make that many changes to the apartment all at once, but a lot of the reason, I'm not going to say too many details because it's kind of a moot point, or as Joey would say, a moo point. But the reason we didn't make all of these changes sooner and the reason we were kind of just sitting on all of these ideas and making a long list of all the stuff that we needed slash wanted to do to our apartment was because we were planning on moving. When I say planning, I mean we had everything in order and everything was gonna be so perfect. But unfortunately, coronavirus had other plans for us and our move got canceled. I'm not gonna elaborate on a bunch of details because it is good and canceled. It is not gonna happen, unfortunately. But we were planning on moving this fall. It was going to be a really big international move. So it was going to be a big deal. So all of these things that we wanted to, to do to our apartment, we just thought it wasn't you know, efficient to do that when this was not only most likely gonna happen, but it was really gonna happen. It was confirmed up until a point when it had to be canceled, unfortunately. I really thought that Hamlet was gonna make an appearance in this video. I think he might be under the couch. He loves it under there. This couch is lifted off of the ground and it has a skirt. So it's like this little enclosed space where he can go and take his naps and he loves it under there. Oh, ho. <laughs> He's awake, but still quite sleepy. As you can see, Hamlet is very relaxed and doing very well, and he's very, very happy that his humans have been home a lot more recently. Even though most stuff in France has opened back up, I've really just continued to limit my going outdoors. The situation here is, you know, it's much improved, it's very good, but there are still cases and there's, you know, potentially the second wave that everyone's talking about and that's very likely. So I'm being careful. I'm just limiting, you know, how much I go out and about and what I do specifically just to make sure it's possible to, to be socially distanced when I'm doing whatever I'm doing. One thing I really, really miss and that I'm not doing yet and I'm not planning anything yet, but I can't wait until it's safe enough that I feel like I can, but that is traveling. I miss traveling so much. I already complained on Instagram, but we were supposed to go to Scotland in April. And of course that was right in the middle of the pandemic, especially in France. So obviously that got canceled and I didn't think we'd be able to reschedule it actually because we were planning on moving. So I didn't think it was gonna be possible. But now that we know we're here, 
maybe possibly if things clear up maybe spring we can plan scotland again that would be amazing obviously the first priority the first thing i'm going to do once it's safe to travel is visit my family that's something i've kind of avoided talking about online just because i mean i generally try to focus on the positive things and i don't want to you know bring anyone else down if anyone else is going through the same thing or something else or something worse but i really really miss my family it's been insanely difficult during the pandemic it's already something that is without a doubt the hardest thing about living abroad for me personally at least because i'm quite close with my parents and my sisters and you know if you're not really close with your family obviously there are probably other things like language barriers and cultural differences and stuff that might be more challenging but for me personally the absolute most challenging thing about living abroad is not being able to see my family and not being able to be there and the pandemic you know for those of us who live abroad has been especially difficult on top of that I was supposed to visit home this month of July because there's a very big life milestone in my family right now and I'm missing it and I'm the only one missing it and it's it's so difficult and I'm not going to get emotional on camera because that is not what my YouTube channel is all about, but it's very difficult. I don't know how many times I've said difficult now, but it's been too many times. It's just a very stressful time for all of that. So I think maybe the best thing that we can all do is try to relax, try to to take on some very good habits for ourselves, like me with my Blogilates workouts that I've been doing very regularly recently. They've made me a lot happier. They're making me feel stronger and healthier and better. Habits like that. Also, you know, in my case with my family, we've been FaceTiming a lot. We've been texting a lot. That sort of constant communication, which we now thankfully are able to do thanks to the internet, thanks to it being 2020. I'm so glad that at least if we had to experience a pandemic like this, we have the technology that we have so we can still stay in touch with people we can't see. With all of that being said, I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I feel like I have rambled so much and I'm getting very hungry. It's lunchtime, it's past lunchtime now, so I'm gonna go make myself something to eat. I hope this vlog has been interesting. I hope that the apartment updates and all of that, you know, I hope I didn't oversell it in the title and I hope that you actually thought it was interesting. If not, apologies, but you're still here, so kind of on you at this point. Definitely make sure you're subscribed here if you want to see more updates like this, as well as, you know, living abroad updates and language videos and whatever else I may have cooking. I'm starting to think about some stuff that I want to do because some of the stuff I had planned had to do with the move and all of that. So I'm rethinking my content strategy a little bit. So if you have suggestions, definitely leave them down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon in another video. Bye.